We thought the answer was just replacing cells. Well, it turns out the answer might be a hybrid immune system. Stanford researchers have just achieved the holy grail of transplants, a 100% cure rate with no rejection drugs, and here's how they did it. Type 1 diabetes cured in mice with stem cell transplant. 28 mice, all cured of type 1 diabetes. No insulin, no blood sugar monitoring, no symptoms. Stanford medicine just changed everything. I've been living with type 1 diabetes for 41 years. I've tested my blood sugar over 6,000 times, taken thousands of insulin injections, and I've been following diabetes research obsessively. What I'm about to share with you isn't just another promising study. This is a complete reversal of type 1 diabetes in 100% of test subjects, published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. And the implications for us? They're massive. Here's what makes this study revolutionary. Stanford researchers led by Dr. Sung K. Kim didn't just transplant pancreatic islet cells, they performed what they call an immune system reset. Stanford's solution? They created a hybrid immune system. And the way they did this is absolutely brilliant. Let me break down the three steps. Step one, gentle conditioning. Instead of harsh chemotherapy that wipes out your entire immune system, they used low-dose radiation combined with a CD117 antibody. This creates space for new immune cells without destroying the existing ones. Step two, blood stem cell transplant. They transplanted blood stem cells from a healthy donor, even when the donor was a genetic mismatch. These stem cells start building a new, healthier immune system. Step three, pancreatic islet transplant. Finally, they transplanted insulin-producing islet cells. But here's the genius part. The hybrid immune system now tolerates these cells instead of attacking them. The results? 28 out of 28 mice were cured, not managed, not improved, cured. Their blood sugar normalized. Their pancreatic islet cells functioned perfectly. And here's what blew my mind. They didn't need immunosuppression drugs. Traditional transplant patients have to take powerful drugs that suppress their immune system for life, leaving them vulnerable to infections and cancer. Stanford's hybrid immune system approach eliminated that need entirely. And this is where it gets exciting for us. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please help us out by hitting the like and subscribe button. It's a big help for us. The mice maintained normal blood sugar for over 100 days, the equivalent of several years in human terms. No insulin, no monitoring, no complications. I know what you're thinking. Great for mice, but what about me? Here's the reality check we need to have. Mouse studies are promising, but they're just the first step. The path from mice to humans typically takes five to 10 years and involves three phases of clinical trials. Now here's what I need you to understand. But this study is different from the usual promising research we hear about. Here's why I'm genuinely excited. First, the researchers used mismatched donors, meaning you wouldn't need a perfect genetic match. That expands the potential donor pool dramatically. Second, they avoided harsh chemotherapy. The conditioning protocol they used is gentler and could be safer for human patients. Third, and this is crucial, they achieve tolerance without chronic immunosuppression. That's the holy grail of transplant medicine. So what happens now? Dr. Kim's team is already working on translating this to human trials. They're partnering with clinical researchers to develop protocols that could work in people. The FDA fast tracks breakthrough therapies for serious conditions and type one diabetes qualifies. If early human trials show even a fraction of this success, we could see accelerated approval pathways. The science is sound. The results are unprecedented. The path forward is clear. Here's what I'm doing and what I recommend you do. First, bookmark clinicaltrials.gov and search for type 1 diabetes stem cell every few months. When human trials open, you want to know immediately. Second, if you're able, consider supporting diabetes research organizations. Funding accelerates everything. Third, and this is important, keep taking care of yourself now. Maintain your A1C, protect your kidneys, and watch your cardiovascular health. The goal is to be healthy enough to benefit from these treatments when they arrive. Finally, drop a comment below. What questions do you have about this research? What concerns you? What excites you? I read every comment and your questions help me know what to cover next. If you found this valuable, 
Subscribe to this channel, uncovering every major diabetes research breakthrough as it happens, translating the science into information you can actually use. This is the most hopeful I've felt about type 1 diabetes research in years. And I think you should feel hopeful too, but informed hopeful, not naive hopeful. I'll see you in the next video. Well, we hope you found that information inspiring. If you'd like to support our channel, feel free to go to our homepage, hit the link and buy us a coffee. Any kind of support you can lend us, we always appreciate. Don't just wait for the future, let's prepare for it. Take care of your body today so it's ready for tomorrow's cure. Thanks for being with us today, Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. We'll have another great video for you in a few days. Warriors out.